Hey guys, Alex Wink here. So, I had just woke up and realized that I had my katana, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a, of a uh, review for you guys. Um, so, this is my old box that went with uh, Oathkeeper, you know, my other sword. I put it in this one for the night because it arrived late, so I thought it'd look good in it, and it'd be more safe than in a cardboard box. So, I'm just going to open this up and show you. It's a uh, hand-forged Musashi 1060 carbon steel katana. That would open. And, uh, yeah. I think that's, uh, I can't, I don't know what type of paint that is, but I've seen it on a lot of scabbards, or sayas. But, yeah. So, this is a katana. Don't judge that not. I did it for my, I did it myself, because apparently it didn't come tied, so. Whoops. <laughs> That's probably my own fault. This is a certificate of authenticity. Um, those symbols say Musashi, just in case you were wondering. You know, the company who made the sword. Um, it's your standard katana. It's 41 inches overall, I think. Um, this will be a little bit harder to do since I'm only, I've am only i only got one hand. Um, I wish I had a GoPro, but... Apparently those things cost a lot up here in Maine. So let me just see if I can get the certificate out. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. But that also says Musashi. Hold on. Sorry. So, yep. Silver Series Certificate. So I guess the name of the sword is Shirakawa. Overall length is 41.5 inches. Um, blade length is 28. Um, you can read all that if you want. Um, I'll leave that just for you to read. Um, it's, it all looks good. Date of production. I don't know that because I don't speak Japanese, so sorry. Um, Stuart Lee. That was the smith who made the sword, so. Yeah, so at least you've seen that. But now, how about the sword? It's, you know, your standard standard katana. It's clay-tempered, so the whole hamon is going to be different. Uh, let's see if I can show you here. Um, it's hard to see, but, yeah, if you look closely, you can see the hamon. See how it's all different? Yeah, it's not a... Wire brushed hamon. It's handmade, as you can see. It's all handmade. So yeah, it's much. It's 1060 carbon steel. Very good sword. It's got a dragon tsuba. I think that's how they pronounce it. Steel or copper things. Um, I can't remember what these are called. <laughs> um, but what habaki? I think. No, no. It's got a blood carving line, as you can see there. And yeah, so it's an all around good sword. It's, okay, you get what you pay for, I guess. It's 110 bucks, nothing bad at all. And it's very sharp. I tested it out last night on a cardboard box, and dang, it was sharp. <laughs> Alright, guys, but I hope you enjoyed this little review. I've got to get to doing my own stuff this morning. So, hope you can enjoy this review, and maybe hope you've uh, learned something. Have a nice day, guys.